Good day Tesla fans, welcome to another FSD video. This one is uh, a bit unique, I would say, in the sense that in my area of Canada where I live, Gatineau, Quebec, we just experienced uh, quite an ice storm. So if you look around, everything's covered in ice and more importantly, power is out everywhere. Uh, I've been without power now for about oof, eight, 18 hours straight now. So yeah, we're just gonna take FSD through this powerless apocalyptic ice storm scenario, one in a million chance and, and kind of see how it goes. Um, yeah, I mean, the most important thing here is the fact that we're out of power and how FSD is gonna react to that, knowing that, you know, all the kind of traffic infrastructure, I mean, there's no lights, there's nothing to kind of govern anything. And uh, as a driver, uh, we know that if there are no uh, lights on, there's no power, like this scenario right here, it's to be treated as a stop sign. So you can see here, it says stopping for traffic light, which it stops and then waits and treats it like a stop sign properly. Uh, let's see if it progresses through on its own. It's very um, safe about it, going through slowly, which is good, obviously, in this scenario. And, and it does it properly. I mean, pretty impressive considering the circumstance that we're driving in right now. There's also a lot of downed trees, which is kind of the main reason why uh, everything's out of power here for everybody, is that because uh, as ice storm hits, it coats all the tree branches, everything gets really heavy, branches crack and fall. You can see on the road here, everything's all broken and it, it falls on power lines and then nobody has any power. Uh, yeah, I'm on 11.3.3, .3, so it is the full stack uh, newest version. I know there's a .4 and a .5. Uh, I'm not sure what the kind of main difference is or if Tesla's testing different patches all at the same time. But uh, yeah, as you can see, here's another powerless light situation, intersection, and yeah, stopping for traffic lights, comes to a complete stop and assesses and should be going here. Slowly, it's very hesitant, but ah, did it, it did it. A lot more, uh, nagging warnings given the situation which uh, makes sense to me so here's another uh interesting situation is that these lights uh are covered because there's construction and uh they haven't been hooked up yet so they're covered so tesla ignored that which is the proper thing to do but this scenario here are the lights and they, they're not covered but have no power and Tesla treats it like a proper stop sign. So I'm, I mean, I'm pretty impressed that the FSD is able to distinguish that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, great job so far. I don't really have a destination planned for it. It's hesitant around this person. Uh, uh, okay, good. The person looked like they wanted to, to make a walk, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna set a destination going through uh, maybe some more downtownish for my area and see how it does let's go here yeah okay it's recalculating its route but yeah you can see it's it's a mess here uh, with all these uh, down branches and, and morning traffic everybody's trying to get to work um, yeah again very impressed on on its uh, able ability to treat it like a stop sign so I'm in the, the Gatineau area I know the biggest hardest hit area as far as impact on people is in uh, Montreal which is if I'm not mistaken the second most populated city in Canada and they are being devastated right now with power outages. The same boat that I'm in, but obviously it's a much more uh, uh, densely populated uh, urban area. So a lot of people without power, Tesla's chugging through it. I mean, it looks beautiful 
It almost looks like a work of art, everything covered up in, in ice, but pretty damaging. Yeah, another complete stop and off it goes. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, we're just gonna chug along there and, and see how it goes. Yeah, as we're going through here, I mean, uh, it's doing great. It's treating all the uh, proper stops or lights at stop signs like it should. You can see too that like all the stores are out of power. Gas station here is out of power, uh, which is always kind of the argument you always see against EVs in general. It's like, oh, what if the power goes out? How are you going to charge your vehicle? Right? And, uh, you know, they don't understand that you need power to run the pumps to fuel your car as well so it doesn't matter if you have a nice vehicle or an ev if the power's out you you're not fueling nothing but i mean as far as uh how am i going to charge if this is an extended period uh on the border crossing uh we're in quebec right now just on the ontario side still has power so i could just cross go uh, hit up one of the uh, mega chargers and you know fill up there not a big issue for me right now now your destination is on the all right so we've reached our destination i mean it did great Obviously there wasn't too many uh, complex situation that it had to kind of navigate around, but just the sheer fact of, of the weather uh, conditions right now kind of made it impressive, at least for me. Um, we're gonna try and rejig here and, and make it go kind of where we want to kind of test. And let's go, let's go roughly uh, here. <clears throat> All right, so here's an interesting situation where the whole road is, is canceled out. It didn't look like the Tesla was gonna stop for that. Uh, maybe I stopped it a little too early, but you know what? I wanna go back and try that again to see if, if it is gonna stop at that or not. <laughs> yeah, other people are super confused by it too. <laughs> See, it's not just the uh, software self-driving. There's another human there that just doesn't know what to do. All right, let's turn around here and see how close it gets to kind of crashing or ignoring it or whatever. All right, we're going to turn the speed right down. Let's see what it does. gonna stop yeah 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 no it really wants to go around that okay it looks like if i let it it would have uh it would have snuck in there but uh yeah we're not gonna let it do that all right we're gonna have a detour here i gotta find a recalculation uh yeah that looks good there Carrying on. Very aggressive with the FSD, how it just wants to like get <laughs> into it. It's like, nah, get out of my way barriers. I'm gonna go through. Uh, we got a poor weather detected. Full self-driving may be degraded. Uh, I'm just gonna be a little bit more attentive here while it says that, but 
yeah, it just looks like the, the slush on the road is, is what's giving it that, that feeling here. You see too how foggy it is too. So we got ice snow conditions, power outages, fog, the whole works here working against us. I'm just gonna speed up for local traffic here. All right, well, I mean, that's uh, about it for the test. I just want to do a quick one to kind of see how Tesla reacts in this kind of once in a million situation. Um, I mean, it did great. It, it, it stopped at all kind of powerless stops, uh, uh, traffic lights, sorry, like it should. And, uh, you know, maybe it hesitated more than it should have through some of them, but, but it did it. Uh, and then more importantly, the ones that, as we showed, the traffic lights that hadn't been hooked up yet due to construction and were covered, were covered up. It, it knew to ignore that, but it knew to treat the powerless ones as stop signs. So, I mean, uh, count me in as is impressed here in this unique situation. Um, I know in my last video I said I wanted to go back to do the uh, roundabout hell in my next video uh, obviously with the power outage I didn't want to uh, uh, to do that uh, yet uh, I want to kind of give it the best case scenario to see how well it does with actual roundabouts not bring it there as uh, roundabouts plus power outage plus ice storm plus fog kind of thing so I'll push that into my next video hopefully and uh, we'll go back with that. And I just wanted to, yeah, take a, again, take a unique chance to see how Tesla does here. And it, it, it did great. So as you can see here, lots of trees just down. There's just branches everywhere. Uh, I did drive earlier in a situation and I noticed that it did go around uh, a branch. So if, if you're asking if, if a tree falls in the way, does the Tesla go around it? Yes, yes it does. Uh, we didn't find any on this trip to kind of test that, but you know, it's good. And, and yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.